Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me going through my clinical bag and everything that is inside of it. Um, I personally don't think I have too much in here, but I think I just have like the basics, important things. I can't explain with the blinds. Anyways, this is from BagSmart. I got it off of Amazon and I got it in black so that it's not gonna get dirty and everything. Um, it has obviously like over the shoulder straps. It's got a water bottle pocket. It's pretty big on both sides. And then it has a little front pocket in here, which I guess I'll just start in there. I have a chapstick. I have a little Sharpie. This typically would go on your badge, but I don't have it on my badge. Um, an alcohol wipe <laughs> and some highlighters. This one has a hair tie on the end. These are helpful for like, if you write down questions or notes that you have or important lab values or something and you just wanna highlight them. Then when you go inside, the first big thing is my stethoscope holder, which is from Amazon. Pretty much all of the like, supplies are from Amazon. So this has um, some of these like trauma shears. I've never used them, but I have them if I need them. Um, also a hemostat, which again, have not used, but you know, it is what it is. Um, a little watch that I also haven't used. Because in the beginning, they said we weren't allowed to use our Apple Watches, and then they said, just kidding, you are. So, use that. I have a pulse oximeter, which you don't need this in the clinical setting because they have their own, but it's fun to play with. So, I do use this quite frequently, just not on patients. And then I have my stethoscope, which is a Litman. I think it's just like a regular Litman. I don't think it's like anything fancy. And then I have a little stethoscope, like, charm thing on there. Um, so, yeah. I have my little clipboard, my foldable clipboard, which everyone says you need, and you absolutely do. Like, I super highly recommend this. Um, it's got a bunch of, like, fun, like, little cheat sheets. So for this one, it's got regular temperatures. Um, it has some conversions, pupil dilation, a normal heart rhythm, pain scales. Uh, lab values, all kinds of stuff. Super, super interesting. And then obviously like information, Oops, paper. It fits a pen in the middle when you close it, which I always leave a pen in there. So recommend this for sure. I use it all the time. Next thing, I have some of these, which eh, I don't wanna mess with my makeup. These are good when you're in the units that require these, like, OR, uh, sometimes the ED requires them, PCU, ICU, that kind of stuff. The rest of them don't really require those, but they're nice to have. Um, I also have this, which is just for me to take notes on, which I do use occasionally, but I find I use my clipboard more, but I think they're both nice to have because this is like very, very small. So kind of just depends on the person. Um, I have a panty liner. I have a little pack of gum. I have a uterus badge reel. We love her. She's a cutie. Um, what else do I have in here? And then there's inside, there's more pockets. Let me go through. I have more pens. I have more of these like backups, a bunch of pens. Um, more panty liners, obviously. So what else do we have in here? I have a lint roller. You always need a lint roller. Um, I have a mask. She's a little crumbled, but I have her. And then there's also a zipper pocket on the inside, which holds some hand wipes. Um, like a tiny deodorant in case you need to be deodoranted. I have a little pack of Tylenol, because you can't take hospital medication. A tiny hand lotion another one of those sharpies and then I have these which are actually really cool I have three of them they are like they're in the winter mint scent but like if you go into a room that has like a smell so like if you need to do something nasty like deal with c diff or um 
from gastric contents or poop or just anything that smells. You sniff these, you just go sniff and then you won't be able to smell it, hopefully at least. So I've only used those once and it was when I was in the wound care clinic and some of the wounds, they've got a scent. So I use that, very helpful. And that, that is what I have in my clinical bag. Usually I'll also bring a water bottle or two and my lunchbox. So let me know if you have any questions about the bag. I'll try to link the bag below. It sells out quite frequently, but I'll link it. And I'll link some of the products if I can find them. So yeah, that is what is in my clinical bag. I hope you guys found this helpful for what to bring to clinical. Um, you really don't need that much stuff. Honestly, you don't even need this much stuff, but a lot of it's helpful to have. Um, I'd rather bring a little bit too much than not enough. So that is my philosophy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you learned something. Leave comments below for any requests for future videos, uh, whether nursing school related or not. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.